Want to try that one more time? Yeah, and this time I'll say Chinese. <laughs> <coughs> We're not campaign workers. We're not pimply college kids. We're not wearing buttons. <laughs> so, so, so why are you here? What did my partner order a Chinese? You know, for our party? I'm, I'm not a delivery boy. Look at us. We're not Asian. You're married T to a woman. What else? My gay daughter must be short circuiting. When I wake up the next morning after these little contretemps, my suitors have vanished into thin air. I never find out exactly why they left without saying goodbye. I, I sometimes wonder if they've been murdered and their bodies dumped in the swamp out back. I've often dreamt of Hugh directing four queens carrying the body of a Dartmouth sophomore out the back stoop. Doesn't sound like a fair deal to me. No? No. He gets a 100% hall pass. You're surrounded by a hall monitor. Well, our, our peace treaty was negotiated over many years. I was his Kissinger to his Joe and Lai, alas. <laughs> it sounds like you haven't always followed the letter of the law. There have been treaty violations along the way. Yeah, let's just say I've been more successful with my gentleman callers than Laura. <laughs> In her correspondence during the summer, you confirm my strong suspicion that there was a particular thing you've written all your books for. It's the thing that has made you apply yourself all these years. The thing that has kept you alive. Without this thing, you wouldn't have written any poetry at all. It's the very passion of your passion. It's the part of your business in which the flame of art burns most intensely. First, what's in the suitcase? Those are my books. Yes. They must be first editions. Yes. It's beautiful, isn't it? And you have this secret. Yes, I, I do. It's, it, it's odd, isn't it? You have been chosen. How is it that, that God or whomever set this up so that these, these creatures, uh, Leopardi, Rambeau, uh, uh, Yates, uh, uh, Sylvia Plath, uh, Allen Ginsberg, uh, uh, and now me. These, these damaged, exceptional creatures are God's vehicles. I have been to lots of parties. And acted perfectly disgraceful. But I've never actually collapsed. Oh, Lana, Lana Turner, Turner, we, we love, love you. you. Get yeah. up! He lives there to this day with all the hammocks, gramophones, double old-fashioned glasses, masks, and expired magazine subscriptions that constitute a life for some. His framed diploma from some Methodist medical school from which his name is mysteriously absent. Hey, can we have a serious discussion, please? Hmm. Man to man. You're starting to drive us all nuts. Hmm. Fine. Mark my words. For here's what you will do without a doubt. Because you're no fool. And you have a smell for what's good for you. Very soon you're going to be shaken by a big scare like a pickaxe aimed at your skull. I'm speaking metaphorically. Perhaps. And you will come to the undivine revelation that John and I as actors are way over your head in talent and conviction that you have none of the survival skills needed to escape dismemberment in this coliseum where I play lioness to John's gladiator. You will pick up your Barbie doll and head home with one last look over your cold shoulder, an action compelled by Greek myth and Asbarian poetics, and quit the scene. You think if you sat through, for instance, a four-character play, you could pick out the hero and the villain? Huh? Most assuredly. 
Well, what if the playwright was deviously clever? Hmm? What if the producer didn't rent a Times Square billboard with the hero smiling or the villain sneering? Please, I'm Dean. I never promised to share my secret with you, to spell it all out for you. You did too. I did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did, did too. too. Well, it's not normally my line of work, but let's see. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> stir, stir, stir. No, 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 Present from Charles and Beyonce, interrupting each other. Yes, yes. 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 yes.